Welcome back guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best 15 monthly paying dividend stocks to buy. So stick around. It's going to be a great video. Don't forget to smash the like button and let's get started. All right. So I'm going to make this video quick and sweet. Let's go over the first REIT. Now for all of you who don't know what a REIT is, it is a real estate investment trust that has to pay out 90% of their dividends or 90% of their income to their shareholders in a form of dividends. Now it's really cool. There's REITs for everything and there is a lot of benefits to owning them. So let's get started. Number one, Vanguard Total Market Bond ETF or ticker symbol BND. Now this is a fixed income focused ETF um, it offers a 2.76 dividend yield with a very low risk focus on investment grade fixed income securities. Now these are mortgage backed securities um, including government and corporate international bonds uh, things like that. So it's a very safe monthly paying uh, stock. Number two AG&C Investment Corp. Uh, AG&C Investment Corp it has produced consistency on its earnings uh, annually but compared that produced fair net income over the last five years although they're offering 11.25 percent dividend yield currently they are a real estate investment trust focused on mortgages like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac so there are some protection on their principal and interest payments which could be an interesting company to put into your portfolio to get some of that high yield of 11.25%. Now this does pay monthly. They all pay monthly. Global Net Lease Inc. or GNL. There is a um, there are a lot of REITs in the monthly pay it out game and is a small cap business play offering a 10.7 percent dividend yield investing in commercial properties in the u.s the united kingdom and over broader europe this company uh, like many reits it's rather inconsistent therefore the stock rather expensive compared to its earnings they have a market cap of 1.6 billion but concerned about their 1.42 billion in total equity. Um, you might want to kind of steer clear of this one or at least do your research before investing in it. Number four is LTC Property Inc. or ticker symbol LTC. This is another great REIT to buy. It has a 4.8 dividend yield and it finished 2018 with its highest net income in five years. Um, I like LTC. CC because they deal with senior housing and healthcare facilities. Uh, the shares are cheap relative to their earnings and it makes a nice monthly payday uh, right from the start. Next is Main Street Capital Corp, ticker symbol MAIN. Now they primarily focused on financing to the middle market companies. Main Street Capital has a 5.9% dividend yield and has succeeded in driving its revenue streams over the last five years. That is a great company to add to your portfolio and I have many shares of that in mind. Realty Income Corp is the next one, ticker symbol O. Now this is another great REIT. I've had this company in my portfolio for the last maybe eight years. They perform very well and um, for the longest time they're paying 25 cents a month. I believe that has gone up since then. Um, but this company is very consistent and they've steadily increased their sales over time. And uh, I just think it's a great company to get involved with. They pay out 90% of their assets and, dis and distribute it in dividend form. So um, they have a 3.74% dividend yield, which is really nice and it's actually quite safe. Number seven is Shaw Communications Inc. or SJR. For everyone who doesn't know, this is also a real estate REIT. It's like 
uh, it's a real estate REIT, but it's a Canadian telecommunication firm. So they deal with um, like mid cap plays. They offer a 4.64 dividend yield, which is pretty great because they are successfully increasing uh, their wireless segment to increase their profits. Uh, now, number eight is BlackRock Limited Duration Income, or BLW. Now, this company is a income trust, like a basically is diversified in a closing management company. They have a pretty nice 6.2 dividend yield, and uh, they basically invest in various bonds, mortgage-related securities, and government-backed securities. But not bad if you can get a few shares of this for that nice 6.2 dividend yield now Gladstone Investment Corp for all of my subscribers that follow me on this channel you guys know that I am a big supporter of Gladstone I have companies um, well I have stocks in gain glad good land and they're all from Gladstone Investment Corp they have a nice 7.8 percent dividend yield and they have a similar structure to the BLW they invest in debt securities from stable businesses it also chases capital appreciation through investment equities and is quite profitable over trajectory in the right direction the last two years um, they have a great annual trend in terms of operating income net income and revenue growth uh, at the same time their volatility nature cash flow quarter to quarter is um, more concerned with growing itself equity remains stable but I think it's pretty solid overall I have many shares of that now the next two uh, Vanguard long-term bond index fund ETF or BLV that's a 7.3 percent market return per year and wisdom tree US high dividend fund or DHS is only a 3.5 percent dividend yield but this company owns equity like AT&T, ExxonMobil, Verizon, Coca-Cola and Chevron so Wisdom Tree compared to like say Vanguard would be the better choice it has a safer dividend yield compared to BLV but at the same time why not own a couple shares of each now moving on to number 12 Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF or SPHD. Now this is a 4.26% dividend yield and they hold uh, they hold funds such as Ford, Altria Group, IBM, General Mills and AT&T which performs relatively close to the S&P 500. Now if you want something essentially that tracks the market while collecting monthly payouts, then you would like this company, SPHD. Now Invesco Preferred ETF or PGX, as you can see, has a 5.46 dividend yield, which is really great. They also have positions in PNC Financial Services, Citigroup, JP Morgan, JPM, and Bank of America. Yes, there are a lot of banks involved in this, which makes it beneficial as long as the, of course, global economy and everything stays normal. Now, next, I'm going to go over these two AAM S&P 500 High Dividend Value ETF, or SPDV is a 4.43 percent dividend yield and again they hold stocks like a stable form like Campbell Soups, General Mills, Delta Airlines such like that so uh, the next one is ProShares for number 15 it is ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF or Noble now a lot of people know this as Noble or NOBL essentially this is a monthly paying stop stock that has exposure to market top dividend names the pro shares s p 500 dividend aristocrat etf in obl invest its capital in names like procter and gamble at&t sherwin williams these low risk plays and uh, does not create some of the high returns an annual dividend yield of only around two percent but because of that it's low exposure it's great for long-term uh, gains and appreciation while getting a payout of two percent so these are the 15 that I think 
are the top and best now um, also this article is from the street.com you could check it out um, anytime you want it was posted a little later in uh, it was posted a while back but it is still very relevant now today hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button follow if and subscribe if you haven't already okay guys have a great day